are in the jungle, and we find... What is it? <laughs> it's a guitar. It's actually two. It's two guitars. What could be better than a guitar than two? Two guitars. Which is better? The Epiphone. What is it? It can't read it. It can't read it. The, I'll tell you. Wait, let me see. I'll tell you. It's the, an Epiphone. Okay. Les Paul. Yes. Or an Epiphone SG. Okay. Which is better, the Epiphone Les Paul or the Epiphone uh, SG? I, SG. Okay. Which is better? Let's find out. Greetings, I'm Tom. And I am the Easter Bunny. He is the Easter Bunny. And he has given us some Easter goodness in these guitars. Yeah. And it, I mean, this one was already mine, but this one wasn't. Right, well, should we you, have yeah. a quick look at this guitar? Yeah. This is the 1966 limited edition Epiphone G400, which may strike a resemblance to a Gibson SG that you might buy. Except this one's cheaper and it's made in Asia, so they have less Americans in Asia. But that is true for most places that aren't America. Okay, this guitar is really light because it's quite thin, if you can see that. And it's made of mahogany, I believe, which is a nice tree wood. And pickups, it's got two of those and they're humbuckers because, well, it's a Gibson style guitar. And if you had single coils, that would be mad. Mm, yeah, absolutely yeah. mad. Oh, so mad. And it's got this pickup selector thing. There's only three combinations. I'd like a coil split or something. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. But so, so, it's quite so cool. quite basic electronics on here. So we've just got the three positions: middle with both the pickups in parallel, bridge, which is called treble for some reason, stuff like that, and then the neck, which is called rhythm for some reason, more stuff like that. But there you go. We've got the, the four knobs so you can control the volume and tone for each pickup independently. And a very handy feature is that the input jack is on the front, it's right there. So, no fumbling about over here to f*** your jack in, which can be an annoyance. Yeah, I do find it hard to plug in my jack. They used to make these without input jacks, but they took an arrow to the, to the knee. It has, it has a neck on this guitar, surprisingly. It's quite fat neck. I don't know if it's meant to be like 60s style or something because it's a 66 rear shoe. But it's fat. So you need fat hands if you want to play this guitar because otherwise you're just gonna not be able to reach the notes which would be bad. Yeah. It's got actually genuine Grover tuners on the headstock which is nice because some some guitars they have tuners but you can't actually tune them because they're rubbish but this one's actually that's, got Grovers which are really nice. Yeah. And um, I don't know what else, what else to say. It's got a rosewood fingerboard, which is is a dark brown colour. Black pit guard. This one is in, what's it called? Cherry, I think. Red cherry, something like that. So, some stuff. Yeah, but it's not black, I can tell you that. Yeah. And this bit's black. This bit's silver, because it's metal, and metal tends to be that colour. Would you like to tell us about the, um, yes. this the is, Les Paul? This is the Les Paul uh, standard model. Uh, it, it is black with like kind of creamy white bits around the edge. It's got a nice sort of cream binding, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice binding. It also has this weird bit here that's raised for no, no particular, I don't know if you can see that. The bit on the front here. There must be a reason for that. It doesn't all, seem to have a like, reason. All Les Pauls that have those sort of pick guards are sort of raised. I don't know why. Well, maybe, maybe you put like sheet music in there. Then you can read it while you're playing. You could put a lot of sheets in there. You could. It's quite wide. Quite wide. You can almost stick a whole pedal board in there. A whole pedal board. Uh, it has four knobs, which is uh, three more than anyone needs. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. They, they used to make them without knobs. Yes, and, and they took uh, an arrow to the knee. It has a neck, like me. And if you listen to this as well, that's real. I did it. Okay, I'm going to give you some clean tones now with the SG through a Vox Pathfinder 15R, which is a nice amp.
So that was with the neck pickup. Now we'll go with the bridge pickup. Slightly louder that one because I've got the um, pickup slightly close to the strings, but there we go. So now I'm going to give you some clean tones with the neck pickup here. So let's give it a go. Sorry, that's just the. That is a squeaky sofa. Yeah. Is it in drop D? I believe it is. Okay. going I'm going to just change some of the settings on the amp Bridge pick up time. One. Yeah, I should probably tell you that we're playing through a custom Dart 10 FX yeah. with um, the toneful cup of water on the top. Thank you. 
Fuzz. That was definitely a nice tone right there. It was beautiful. Was that, which, which pick up was that? That was uh, both of them, I think. Oh, good. Middle position? Yes, middle position indeed. Very nice. Okay, I'm going to give you some distorted tones on the pool now. Yeah. This is what it sounds like! Beautiful. One of the many tunings for the people. Tuna. Some Very sort nice. of mid game, just turn the gay down. The gay. <laughs> I've said gay now. Turn the gay down, Tom. No, I'm gonna turn the gay in. Turn it down, Tom. Down. Tom, you're being too gay. Turn it down.
this one is much heavier, I must say. It really is noticeable. But we haven't talked about the price of these yet. How much do they cost? What would you say? What's I would say estimate? that is the cheaper one. Right. And that one is more expensive. And what would you say as the sort of guess on the price? Two hundred. A thousand. Wow. I would say that this one is actually two hundred and fifty pounds. Oh, more. And this one is this much. How much? That's slightly more. But. Okay. I'm sure that you'll agree. Yeah. That it's more. So, Tom, which is better? The the Les Pauls modern step. Hmm? <laughs> or, or that, or the red one. Or the, the red one, well... Black or red? I think it's hard to tell. I think it depends on the situation, to be honest. Because, mm. I mean, if I was... If I was gigging, like, every night, I might choose this one because it, it is just that bit lighter. It helps. I mean, if you've got this thing over your shoulder for yeah. hours, that's going to start to hurt with this one, but not yeah. so much with this. But then... Because this one's so light, it does have the annoying tendency to sort of dip. Yeah, yeah. I get like this way, it sort of leans. I get where you're coming from. Leans the, this way when you're holding the, it on your the head is, shoulder. Yeah, this bit. Yeah, it's still quite heavy, but. Seems a bit top heavy. Yeah. That one's more balanced. But yeah. as far as the tones go, I'd say they're quite similar. Mm. This one's maybe slightly more fuller, rounder sound, and this one's a bit more sort of cutting through the mix sort of yeah. thing. So, I'd, I'd buy both. Yes. Or, buy one and borrow the other from a friend. Died. Almost died. Another thing that's annoying about this guitar is that the pick guard, I can't seem to get it off. I don't know if that's just me being stupid or something, but I have tried very hard to get the pick guard off and it won't come off. So if you do need to go in here to adjust the, I don't know, take the pickups out or something, then you're probably going to need to you're gonna to need to be a better man than me to do that. Yeah. But you've got like a rhombus. Yeah. A is rhombus that a rhombus? And a circular shape, which is called a circle. I like shapes. Basically, don't watch our videos because they're rubbish and they don't do what they're supposed to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And that concludes our demonstration. <laughs> Indeed. So the message of this video is don't watch our videos. So take from that what you will. Rate, comment, and subscribe!